Welcome back to the channel, Eric here. And this week's episode, I've traveled all the way to Spain to meet up with the top real estate agent here in Marbella, Artur Loganov from Dromelia Real Estate. And we are touring this first property, which is an oceanfront mega mansion. Artur, tell us about this house. Well, first of all, I'm excited. It's great to have you, Eric, in Marbella, finally. And amazing to show you this spectacular property that I have right in front of me, featuring 12 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, a totally frontline beach plot of just over 4,000 square meters, 2,500 square meters built. We've got indoor heated swimming pool, cinemas, a spa overlooking the sea, which is absolutely unique, and loads of rooftop terraces with lounges, bars, and jacuzzi, everything overlooking the sea view. There's a lot, so make sure to watch this entire episode. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also Arthur's channel. He yep. tours the best properties here in Spain. And with that, let's jump into the tour, starting with the exterior of the home. Let's start right from the beginning. Let's do it. The property is set in a cool de sac, so it's completely private. No one sees you from outside, like you've seen it yourself when you drove in here with a Ferrari. Oh man, I love how you have the wall around the house, the gated entryway, and then also this driveway, the motor court, how it does like a loop around. Yeah, you drive in, you drive out, park in front of the house, nice and easy. Then we've got the six car garage here for the owners. And there's a two car garage on the other side for the staff, the guests with their own entrance to the house, which we'll see later on, pretty cool as well. And then also we're surrounded by really big estates in this neighborhood. So all the houses around are really huge they got all these pine trees and also 24-hour security here not very important that's nice and then as far as the architecture i love how modern this is it's very grand with the white stucco on the exterior then the black on the windows nice grass in front it's like we've got this marble detail also around the window which oh, adds beautiful. that a bit of character to the property and then this this is the coolest feature check this out so this is found in the ceilings of a rolls royce yeah. on your overhang entry so you get out of your car like you were saying if you're having an event car pulls up this is your grand almost hollywood this entry is like your home. red carpet moment you it know really you come is. out of the car and you just go to the property i like how you have the black ceramic to reflect the lighting and then it mixes with the white stucco also those water features are so pretty you're very serene yeah you've got both sides nice details and well you ready to check this property out which is priced at 14.9 million euros which in dollars is just about 16.9 17 million and it's interesting because you'll see in this video what you get for that amount here in Marbella if this home was in let's say Malibu beachfront it would be probably closer to let's say 75 million dollars wow well there's a lot of stuff to see here right let's go inside let's go let's, let's go it do out. it well How's your first feeling the moment you step in? This is, it's elegant. I love the skylight when you first walk in. Tons of natural light. You've got this plaster on the wall, which is a rose, which is hiding the sea view, which you'll see in a moment. Absolutely spectacular. Marble on the floor. Bedroom section is on that side. We've got the kitchen on this side. Guest toilet is here, but we'll see all of that a bit later. Shall we? Let's check it out. So this is then the great room with views of the Mediterranean Sea right here in this great room. Absolutely stunning, but wait, before we go out there, let's talk about this room. This is your main living room. We've got height about five meters in here, very special. Feels very spacious, right? It's very grand. It's, you know, you walk in here and you have the wow moment from the car, then this. Yeah. High ceilings, this is beautiful. This is like an art piece. Really stunning chimney. I like the black ceramic, which again repeats that entrance moment, remember? Yeah, this is cool too. This kind of like fun beanbag couch in the center. Yeah, you don't see many of those. <laughs> and then this would be the family room off to the right here. Yeah, this is more like your family moment, the cozy part of the house. I mean, you've got your grand living, but then you want to be maybe with the kids watching the TV. I love the shag carpet. Now it's beautifully designed and it transmits that warmth with all the wood elements as well, right? Yeah, it's, it, it's nice to have the contrast from the entertaining room to then bring it in here, kick off the shoes, watch TV. Exactly. Or kick off the shoes and head. And go to the outside. Shall we head out there? Let's do it. Because I mean, Marbella is all about the outdoor and indoor lifestyle combined together. Like here, you spend most of your life out here, not inside of the house. That's why in properties it matters so much, all the outdoor spaces, you've got your covered huge porches, then your outdoor here, for the sunbathing, I mean, check this out. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this week's episode, Omaze. Omaze gives away one-of-a-kind experiences and prizes while supporting great charities all across the world. And if New York City micro apartments aren't your thing, Omaze is giving away the chance to win a $4.3 million Los Angeles dream home. It's a modern farmhouse design with five bedrooms, six bathrooms, over 5,800 square feet of living space. It has a home theater, pool, 
basketball court. This home is really an entertainer's paradise. Or if Los Angeles is not your thing, you had the option to win a multi-million dollar cash prize instead. And all of your entries go to support a charity called Rebuilding Together, which is devoted to repairing the homes of veterans, people with disabilities, and those neighbors with low income to really keep our communities intact. To enter for your chance to win this amazing LA dream home and support an incredible charity, go to amaze.com slash Eric Conover down below here in the description. Again, I want to thank Omaze for sponsoring this week's episode. And with that, let's head back to Marbella and check out the rest of this mega mansion. You know, it's really that serenity. You hear the sound of the waves crashing on the beach, the warm air, the clouds. It's, it's really the feeling here that I have never felt in any market in America. I'm thinking maybe Miami comes wow. kind of close, but... That's amazing that you say that. Also, the property here with the plot is so wide, you know, that's what allows you to get so much view. We can see Gibraltar today. Oh, wow. So that, that is the continent of Africa, correct? Yeah. Next to Gibraltar, on a clearer day, we can see Africa. And at night, it's breathtaking. I love the infinity pool, how it's yeah. the, the walk-in, like that beach entryway. Correct. All this patio space, the uh, glass railings here. Then you've got all this extra garden space down here, like for kids to play around. If you want to throw a big party, you've got plenty of space around for that. And have a look at the facade. I love how you can really see the architecture of the home and the symmetry with that white stucco, all the patio spaces, all that glass. I mean, this is not a typical and delusion property but really a modern house, which nowadays here on the market is so popular and so demanded. I have a look, because the facade is so long, there's so many different sitting areas all around. I mean, check this out. I like that, how you have where you, the indoor family room, you open up that glass door, you have the outdoor family room. All connected. As I said, all the time we have the indoor, outdoor living together, so important. And then even this, so this is that Rolls Royce star ceiling again here outside. The moment we added the entrance, mm -hmm. that's right. We've got the heating system as well, because at night it gets a bit chilly, but you, you want to be that. out here anyway. Oh yeah, I'd be Enjoy. out here all the time. Exactly, 24 seven. When you look at properties in Marbella, people that know, they value this space way more than anything else. Well, imagine you have a nice dinner, you have your entire family out here, you even have this hanging swing to chill from. Yeah, like your meditation corner, read a book, watch a YouTube property of Eric. I'm not gonna sit down though because I'm still a little bit jet lagged and I will not off. Probably, <laughs> I'll have to do this all myself. Yeah, let's keep on going. <laughs> of course, we've got music surround system everywhere, inside, out, all the time. And we back inside into the dining room Wow, this is a 12-seater, beautiful hardwood table, modern light fixtures above. I, I love this. It's just very warm, very uh, communal, feels like a family would be here. And then all this space connects together in an open plan concept. Everything looking out to the sea. And then, of course, if you want like more privacy, you can always put some pocket doors here, mm -hmm. nice and easy, no problem at all. But I think, I know about you, but I really like I this. like the grand feeling of it. I also like the kitchen then, right off of the dining room. Very open plan. I mean, you've got lots of space around, gagging out appliances, you've got the fridges, wine fridge in the middle. I love the, the white lacquer on the cabinets, on the countertop, induction cooktop here. And this is the kind of place, like you said, where you could have a huge event. And you were saying that off here. Well, this house is huge. So yes. remember, we have 12 bedrooms in here. And for that, you also need a lot of staff and you're gonna have a lot of guests. So all this corner, this is for staff. This is like a second dirty kitchen, we call it. What, what do you call it, Eric? Uh, prep kitchen, chef's kitchen. For example. I like dirty kitchen, because this is where you would, you know, you yeah, make this the is the feast. dirty, exactly. That's like where you have the sushi and the glass of wine. <laughs> and this is where you come and you make the feast. Not you, probably the staff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's also nice because it got the outdoor entrance as well. So if you have a party or something, you can serve it directly from here. And then on this side, this is like a staff bedroom. It's just really, really small, actually. It's got its own entrance as well. It's nice. small, but yet you have views. Got sea views. Yeah. I mean, this is happy stuff living in this house. But let's carry on. Over here, we enter this hallway, which connects with the entrance that I spoke about at the beginning of the video. So then you have two bedrooms here with the shared bathroom. That's right. And another separate bedroom, completely ensuite. I want to check this out. And it's so nicely decorated. It's also interesting, you mentioned how long the facade is. Even in the guest bedrooms, you have sea views, which is pretty rare. You would expect this bedroom to be at the back, and I have no views at all, but even from here. So outdoor space access, ensuite bathrooms, in the guest bedrooms, that's pretty rare. 
Well, the thing is, when you have 12 bedrooms in a mansion, you still would expect many bedrooms or guest suites to be in the basement, but here it's all above ground. I've actually seen houses, especially in Los Angeles or let's say Atlanta, where the, the guest quarters are almost subterranean, yeah. so they don't even have sunlight. Yeah, but this is like completely separate wing to the property, just for guests or staff, depending on your lifestyle. Now we're back to the entrance. And then we've got the guest toilet right next to the entrance. You want to check this out? Yeah, so this is pretty cool. So there's a standing pedestal, which is lit from underneath, full length mirror here on the back with recessed lighting. And check this out. Push the touch, the faucet comes out of the ceiling to this standing pedestal. Pretty unique. Also views here at the front of the property with the water features, but we'll leave this for now. Back into the main entry. Got the glass lift, another cool detail as well next to the entrance. This is very, very sleek. Yeah. Also, we, that's I've never seen one this large in a home. It was built an extra size just for this property. You're absolutely right. Closet space off to the left. Exactly, right next to the entrance. And then over here, this is the family wing. So we've got three bedrooms here and three bedrooms above us. The six, the beautiful family bedrooms. Let's start with this one. What do you think about it? I love the fact that it's a corner room, floor to ceiling glass. And the fact that every single room, you can see the, the sea. Everywhere, everywhere. That's the whole point about this property. And then you've got glass into the bathroom as well, which brings all that light. You sitting at the bathtub, overlook at the sea view as well, which is awesome. Even taking a look at this bathroom, it's beautiful. Freestanding soaking tub, the floating vanity, the steam shower with the glass divider. Yeah. It's all so well done. Glass doors as well. Then again, the room is very spacious. You've still got space for that extra chaise long over there. Yeah, the decor is so spot on. Very minimal, very clean. Yeah, that's right. And then connects outdoor to this covered porch, which is another corner to the property away from everything else. So you can be all by yourself if you want to, away from all the guests. I mean, just look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then we've got the other bedroom on the other side. They share this terrace. This bedroom is even bigger even better if it could be. <laughs> They're all very large. I want to just drive that home for you watching this. These are huge rooms. Yes, absolutely. And I like also how they all decorated a little bit different. Like you mm -hmm. see the same style all over the place, but it has these different touches. And then look at all the closet space here. Yes, and of course the bedroom is completely ensuite. Then over here we have the bedroom number three. So we have the other two looking out to the sea. This bedroom is at the back but it still gets plenty of natural light and the views of the car, the water feature. I do like how you mentioned they're all different. All the backs of the beds are, you know, the last one was that metallic. This is the nice earthy wood. Yeah, breaks it, it up. Brings, exactly, breaks it up. That's the way to describe it. Again, en suite, and I think it's time to go upstairs. Shall we take the lift or the stairs? Let's take the stairs, and then we'll take the lift to go back down perfect, to the basement. Perfect. This lift though, this is a statement piece. When you first walk into the house and you see this, I also like then because you can see this is a floating marble staircase. Yes. And with this glass lift, you can actually see the stairs as well. Yeah. You look throughout the windows. Cool the LED stair, lights. The, exactly, the LED lights are pretty nice. And then, so we've got another three bedrooms on this floor. And I mean, I'm sorry. I know we've got many things, but I have to take you to the master straight away. Like, follow me this There's way. a lot, because I wanted to walk straight out, but. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 let's, let's have a look at this. <sighs> okay. So this is the master. This is the place to be when you own this house. One of the things I like about this bedroom is that normally we would have a terrace out here, but in this case, the terrace is kind of hidden. So it feels like the bedroom's just overstanding the sea. So does this house come furnished well the furniture is not included in the price but it can be bought and the price of all this furniture pack is 1 million euros as we go along you can tell why as well right it's uh yeah it's so minimal and so modern it just all works you've got this full built-in walk-in closet dark Beautiful. wood again led lightning good contrast and then off here this would be the master bathroom wow is that a fireplace? That's a fireplace, <laughs> ethanol fireplace in your bath so that, check this out, when you're lying in here, looking at the sea, got the fire going on, 
maybe a bit of music. <laughs> well, so you could in the winter time open up all this glass, sit in your tub, have the fire lit, and just be toasty with the view of the Mediterranean. Exactly. I think this is one of the best views of the house right here. It's special. Because also the Gibraltar, the Africa is in that corner. So no wonder they placed it here. You've got your double vanity, that's right, the ceramic coming in from the floor to the wall. I really like this mirror effect. Like as well, you're washing your hands here, you still see the sea view. Oh yeah. Absolutely awesome. On both sides, you've got on one side the huge shower for at least two people. Oh, <laughs> I mean, wow. and then the toilets are on the other side. It's very tasteful, it's minimal, it's clean. Even this wood accent chair in the corner here. Yeah, that last touch. <sighs> The for the extra. <laughs> I mean, coming out still, I just want to mention once again how big the bedroom is. Yeah, I mean, it's massive. Got your chaise long area, huge TV, nice LED lights everywhere. Those hanging lamps are something else. Very you know? mid-century modern. So we've got two more bedrooms to cover. And then we've got something else as well waiting for you. And across the hall, this would be the fifth of the family bedrooms. That's right. Again, facing front of the house, so much natural light. Yeah, still the view is spectacular. Yeah, I like how it has the windows on both sides. It feels like, you know, you're floating. Yeah, pretty much. Even though, well, I would prefer the sea views. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but great sizes, right? Of course, it's en suite. And the bedroom number six would be over here, which is the one we were supposed to go in before, but I just wanted to take you to the master. It's a very cool look too, because you come up the stairs and you just see the Mediterranean all just blue right yeah. off the stairs. I mean, this entrance, like, wow. Yeah, but the shades on it's so bright. I also love, you know, there's so much glass in this house. The same bathroom design as the one downstairs. Yeah, that's the, right. Exactly. With the glass mirror with the soaking tub. This wallpaper, I think that's wallpaper. I don't know, the effect is, is like as if it's concrete. Oh yeah, it looks like poured concrete. Pretty cool as well. I like that a lot. Yeah, spacious. I mean, this terrace yeah, is something on. else. We like, have to head out here. We're going to come back here from the other side, but I still want to check it out from here as well. This is Marbella living. Look at this. The terrace is larger than that bedroom. Yeah, that's right. You have it's all about that. You've got your meditation corner, same as downstairs, remember? I think the outdoor space might be more impressive than the indoor space here. Absolutely. I like this fact. Look at this, how high it is. Gives you that it's sensation. So grand and just. That proportion of the property, because it's massive. What a way to start off the Spain home tour series. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. You get a view of your infinity pool down here. You can properly now see the ocean. What a day today, huh? Yeah. We're at the end of November almost. It's like 25 degrees. Well, back in New York City, it's cold. Uh, I think Celsius, it's maybe nine. Yeah, it's cold. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad you came here then, right? <laughs> Seriously. And then this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is a whole other area to the property where we've got this massive jacuzzi, which is heated. And this is also infinity edge, so you are just looking out at the ocean. And you can enjoy it in the winter, looking out over here. Then you've got all these cool areas to it. Got gas fireplace, lounge area. Look at this bar. Beautiful marble on the countertop with the wood on the base. Even the backboard here, the back is just this beautiful wood design. And as you can see, it has all this wow effect that surprise you all around as you go through the property. Because then this connects to, oh, there's the skylight with the entryway. That's right. So that's where we came up from. That's where the glass lift is. Mm -hmm. This is the skylight of the entrance. We get a glimpse of all the solar panels, which the property has everywhere. This whole house can run off just the solar panels. You were saying it's an eco-friendly home. You're That's right. beautiful. Then we have this extra sunbathing spot, yeah, which actually it's, um, it's raised up because we have the living room down there. Remember, because it has such a double oh, height yes. to it. To make room for that. So this is just another extra spot after all the other spots for more sunbathing. <laughs> I'd set it down there. The outdoor space might be more impressive than inside the house because there's just so much. Yeah, exactly. And you've got like so many different areas you can be in. I get it now. I get the wow factor of this outdoor space. But there's more. I mean, all of this <laughs> is cool, right? But there's something else I want to show you over there. Another detail I'd like to mention, like you have a separate staircase leading from the garden to this entertainment area, That's which nice. is nice for guests. And take a look at this, okay? I mean, you like working out, right? Yeah, look at this place. So you have treadmill, bike looking over the ocean. But wait a second. Where have you seen 
a sauna, okay? Oh, it's on too. Feels Ooh. like it's on. <laughs> so you have your sauna, glass enclosed, overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah. Well, normally the sauna's in the basement. Everything that we're seeing is in the basement. Yeah, normally, normally. everything's in the basement. The gym's in the basement. The but... entertainment areas. But here it's all outdoor. Look at that. So you even have the boxing corner, gym equipment, the hammam, steam room right there. We've got the guest toilet. There's a massage room with a bathroom and a bedroom en suite overlooking the sea view as well. So that is bedroom number 11. 11. That's 11. 11. Okay, trying to keep count in my head. Well, there's a lot of them. It's just such a large space. But if you think about it, it's not that complicated because we have the six family bedrooms on that side. Then the first that we saw were the four bedroom guest suites back the kitchen, behind the kitchen. So that's 10. This was number 11. And then there's another stuff apartment outside the properties, right there where we see the garage. It's under the garage. Oh, wow. But it's got natural windows and light as well. So that's that would nice. be number 12. It's interesting because it's a whole lot of house. I mean, 12 bedrooms is huge, but it's such a very smart design. All the bedrooms have views of the ocean, all ensuite right. bathrooms. Yeah. And you said there's still the lower level that we have yeah, to see? Yeah, wait to see that. Let's jump in the lift and we will see you downstairs. And this is what I like to call the entertainment area. Okay, starts with the cinema. Oh, Check this wow. out. I love this. I love how you have the blue lights matching the front of the house. You can tell they're comfortable sofas. Oh yeah. I mean, you could just come down here, have a movie marathon. I also love the old movie posters. All the old famous actors, Brando on there. Yeah. Very cool. All I mean, soundproof. Absolutely. You can spend in here hours, you if not days. Then over here we carry on. Wow. Look at this, indoor pool. And yep. what is this? This is a lot of space. Well, I mean, depends, whatever you want. It can be that bigger gym if you want it to be, maybe yoga, Pilates studio, or a second living room, fun TV area, I don't know. What do you think? The ceilings are pretty high as well, and it's interesting because we're so close to the sea. Yeah. But you were saying there's not many storms. Yeah, exactly. Check this out. Your own private musical studio. No way. To record the best property tours ever. This is a proper... <laughs> Recording studio. You have yeah. the viewing room. The viewing and room. The, should the I singing. Shut this so you can hear the the <laughs> difference in the sound. Like this is. Now uh, you can tell immediately. It's completely instantly. soundproof. Wow. I was not expecting this. Even like we were saying it. This house in let's say Miami or California, 50, 60, 70 million. Drake, if you're watching this and you want to move to Marbella, recording studio. And we still haven't seen the indoor swimming pool. That's exceptional. To have a pool this large, how long is this That's pool? 12 meters. It's heated. You've got the same skylight feature that we had already around the house. I love that. Which repeats the size and volumes of the pool. Got light coming in on both sides, so it doesn't feel like you're in the basement. All this nice, lying, relaxing area. It's almost like an indoor nightclub. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you could do a disco in there, no problem. I like how they raised the pool as well. Yeah, even the color of the tiling, the blues make it very fresh. All the glass reflection. Cool uh, water feature there. It's such a large pool. Yeah, now the lighting just makes it for me. And then the good thing is that from after all of this, we can come out directly to the outside to enjoy this amazing sun once again. Now, I mean, look at this. Marbella, we've got 320 sunny days year round, okay? And the good thing about Marbella also is it's got all year round tourism. At the moment, we've got the town full of golf people. There's about 50 golf courses or more in Marbella and around Marbella. I didn't know that. Yeah. This really is like the hidden, the hidden jewel, the hidden gem of Europe. You could say so. I had no idea. I want you to comment down below what you think of this house. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to Arthur's channel for all things Marbella, especially more homes like this one. Again, this is just number one of three homes we're about to tour over the next week. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And with that, thanks for having me at this Amazing home. Amazing to have you here. We're so excited. Thanks for coming. I'm excited. Yeah, let's and, uh, carry on with the next house. Exactly. We'll see you guys in the next episode. See you in the next episode. <laughs>